Equipment planning is fun and it's a very important thing that's going to become more and more important in the future for us as we start you know, having multiple things running at the same time. So as a director, you have to remember, you have to know what you're going to need on set, uh, what equipment you're going to need. And these are common things that a lot of directors often forget and they're important. I didn't put reflector on the list, I know. Um, I almost did, I promise. But I was like, eh, I'll leave it off for now. Um, I did bring it today though, in case you're wondering, I did bring the reflector. So. Uh, batteries are a really important thing to have, especially extra batteries, uh, both for your camera and then like double A's and triple A's. Like I have a pack of um, 12 double A batteries that we bring to everything because that's what our task cam runs off of. Our headphones run off of triple A batteries, so it's good to bring extra of those. And then the cameras run off their own batteries. Even today we had a camera die right as we were about to start and I brought extra charged batteries, so yay me. Good director. Um, extra SD cards are good uh, in case one fills up. I definitely did that today, winky face. Um, <laughs> I checked, it had plenty of space on it. Uh, extra quick release plates are never a bad thing. Um, and you need at least a memo number of, of quick release plates. You don't want to show up and be like, oh, I have no way to attach my camera to my tripod. This is a huge problem. Um, that can be bad. It's happened before. Don't let it happen to you. Uh, any cables and adapters you're going to need, try and figure out ahead of time what you need. Uh, the biggest mistake I think I've made with this is there's an adapter. The Blackmagic camera is a micro four thirds lens mount, and all the lenses we have are, are um, Canon EF mounts. And one time I forgot the adapter for Micro Four Thirds to Canon and I had to drive all the way back to get it. And that was not fun. It delayed us a little bit. Um, so don't forget things like that. Big mistake. Learn from my mistake. Don't make the same mistake. I did it so you don't have to. Um, other adapters we need for things are like if we're using the lab mic, it requires like six adapters to get it to the task cam. It's really like three adapters, but it feels like six because it's like this chain of adapters. Um, and gaffer tape. Always bring gaffer tape. It's the most useful thing in the entire world. Trust me, it's better than duct tape. Shots fired. Um, <laughs> pack, you want to pack everything up the night before the film session, and you want to have your batteries charged, SD cards cleared, things like that. You want to get as much of that grunt work out of the way as possible, so like last minute you're not running around being like, oh my gosh, my batteries aren't charged, um, and oh my gosh, I have no room for anything on my SD cards. So we like to keep our stuff, we usually bring two bags to every film session, uh, usually like a backpack, which I have right here, and then a duffel bag, which I have over there somewhere. Um, and we just, what I usually, my rule of thumb for what I put in what bag is I usually put like the more delicate things in the backpack because it's a padded backpack. So I'll put like the cameras in there. If we're using field monitors, lenses, um, SD cards, and usually even batteries I'll put in there because it has so many nice little pockets. The duffel bag, I usually put heavier equipment in or things in cases like the Tascam has a case. So I'll put the Tascam in its case in that bag. I don't want to put just the raw Tascam in that bag because there's other stuff like um, the massive, um, XLR cable holders go in there, um, the reflector goes in there. You need to be quiet. Um, I don't know what the heck is, thing is freaking out on me. Um, something is loose, something is very loose. Um, but I'll put heavier stuff in the duffel bag. Props a lot of times will go in the duffel bag if they're, if they're protected enough, things like that. So that's kind of how I split it up. Just because I, I don't want my field monitors rolling around with, this is really the real culprit of all of our problems. Um, I don't want, um, this is the Bonte. I don't want field monitors getting scratched up by all these pieces because that's bad. So I usually put them in their own little pocket in the um, other thing. I also usually put like script books. This has a nice pocket for script books and handbooks and I put that in there as well.